Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's another back to school bundle hair series video and today I'm serving some straight vibes. This hair is from yet another AliExpress company called Hair Wonder Beauty and it's their Peruvian straight hair. Jumping straight into it as always. I'm wearing the length 16, 18, and 20. I'm gonna zoom out some so you all can see. So we're stopping right at my stomach. Not quite at my waist, but almost there. And I have had Brazilian straight, I've had Peruvian in other waves, but I've never had Peruvian straight. So I know Peruvian is known for being very soft. So I just wanted to see what this hair would be like. And then I have, um, I have the 16, 18, 20, and then I have the 14 inch closure. And it was a middle part, but I customized it and made it a curved left part. I did bleach the knots on it. And as you can see, it's laying pretty well. So the closure is super bomb. I made it into a unit, doubled the first bundle. God, I always forget whether I single or doubled the second one. I wanna say I doubled the first and the second and then I singled the last one because I thought I was gonna run out or it wasn't gonna be a lot of hair, but then it ended up being just enough. So like I've been doing with all these back to school bundle series videos, I'm gonna show the packaging of the hair right now. It came with the three bundles. And then I got one of those weird sponge things again. And then I also got a hair tie and some lashes. And as far as the pricing on the bundles, these bundles are cheap once again because I'm trying to save y'all money. The 14 inch closure is $35.36. The 16 inch bundle is $25.23. 18 inch is $26.67. The 20 inch is $28.61. So all together without the closure, you're looking at $80.51. And then with the closure, you're looking at $115.87. Bomb prices. Like, that's under $100. And then y'all know on AliExpress, the shipping is free. The shipping is quick. So you'll have your hair in no time. Now, for the hair itself, it is super soft. You see now, I'm like steady running my hands through it. I did flat iron it because, as you can see in the clip where I showed the packaging and everything, it didn't look super straight. Like, it had kind of a wave to it. I don't know what that was about. So I went ahead and put the flat iron through it and um the way i did my wig was so that the top could lay really flat um i i separated the closure some from the bundle so that it could lay super flat and if you want to see a tutorial on how i do that when i'm making straight wigs or flat wigs that won't have a lot of body and curl to it then let me know and i'll give you all a tutorial on that back to this Y'all know finding straight hair that I like has really been a struggle because the ends will usually be too thin. Like there's always something wrong with straight hair for me or it's stringy. And I wore this hair over the weekend and like I said, I had no problems with the hair itself. I only had to re-flat iron it like one time just because I wanted it silky straight. But other than that, I had no problems. The ends aren't the best ends I've ever seen, but they're also not the worst. And I'm going to stand up. So like the density is pretty consistent all the way through. It's still not as full. And my expectations may just be out of this world because I've been wanting my straight bundles to just be full all the way so you get to the very end. But these are decent. And like I said, the closure lays super well. I don't have any hair left out at all. And it's true to length. That's the back side. As far as shedding goes, I'm looking now at my reflector and I have just one piece. Um, actually two pieces. But I did cut all of my wet so that my unit could lay super flat. With straight hair, you gotta be really careful about folding over about anything so that it can lay how you want it to lay. It's not tangling on me, it's not doing any of that. And I wash the closure so I can tell that the closure or the hair is period, like when you wash it, it does fine. For some reason, the closure isn't getting as straight as the rest of the hair, so I don't know what that's about, but overall, the hair feels really good. Now, y'all know I always review hair on two facets, how I personally like the hair and then the hair company itself. So the hair company itself is great. The quality of the hair itself is great, but as far as how I like the hair for me at this moment, I'm starting to think that I don't really like straight hair when it's warm outside. Like for me, there's something about having wavy or curly or some type of texture to your hair while it's hot outside and not trying to wear a bone straight look with 90% humidity outside in the middle of July. So that was a bad call on my part. Um, but I did like seeing that this hair 
as far as Peruvian goes, does feel really good and it's a good look for going straight, especially in the cooler months. So whenever it does get cooler in the fall, um, I think I will revisit this hair and wear it for a longer period of time at one time because I wore this hair over the weekend, but then I was about to go out and I'm like, no, I want a curly look. So I did switch that, but the hair itself is a good look. So if you're looking for straight hair going back into the school year, then this is a great option. Like I said, it's not, I'm very strict when it comes to straight hair. So it's not the best straight hair I've ever seen in my life, but for the price, it's a great, great, great option. And until I find something better as far as AliExpress straight hair, then this is my recommendation. Y'all know I've tried straight AliExpress hair in the past and it was a complete fail, but I wanted to give it another try. And I'm glad I did because like I said, this is a great option. You see is how it's moving, it has body. And it's $80 without a closure, like, so again, if you're looking for a straight look going back into the school year, this is a great option with or without the closure. Either way, you're not spending over $120 on this hair. I probably should have did smaller braids on my braid down because it was a little hump on this side that was driving me crazy, but I was being, I was being a little lazy on the braid down. Like I had five braids here, like four here, and then about five more that way, and I interlocked them. Um, and then over the weekend, I was mostly wearing it like this. It's showing so much forehead. That's another thing about straight hair. Oh, um, what I was gonna say is, I also notice about me and straight hair, whenever I'm wearing straight hair, I'm super conscious of the closure and making sure that it lays flat because when you're wearing curly or wavy hair, you have that extra height. So it's not like, here is my forehead, here is my closure for the world to see. Not saying that it's not visible when you have curly hair or wavy hair, but when you have straight hair, your closure better be right because it's like it's just so much more visible. But somebody thought I had leave out, so I guess it was laying pretty good and it looks good on camera. But yeah, that's another reason why I kind of stray away from straight hair. My sister was like, you really don't be with it when it comes to straight hair. But I think it's mostly the season because when it does come to cooler seasons, cooler weather, where it's more likely for a natural girl to have a flat iron, that's when I'm more, more open to getting straight hair. But again, this was a good look while I did wear it in. And like I said, I'm gonna revisit it for the cooler months. That's about all I have to say on this hair. If there's anything I left out or any questions that you may have, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get right back to you on that. If there's anything else that I think of from the time of now at this very moment and the time of me getting the video up after editing, editing it, then you know I'll add those comments or those opinions in the description box as well. So don't forget to look at that. Also, this company sells frontals. I'm not really a fan of frontals as you all know, but if you are, then that's an option with the bundles as well. I didn't look at the prices because I'm not into them, but I'll leave it below for you all. Stay tuned for the next Back to School Bundle Series video because we are not finished yet. Like, comment, and subscribe and share this with a friend and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.